Naraka's Halloween update is live, bringing new events, skins, and 3D lobby features to the game. Seasonal events are great because it allows you to get some cool cosmetics, even without purchasing the battle pass or anything. I'll start by going over the 3D lobby changes, with my favorite one being the new parkour course. The old one had basically been optimized as much as possible, and it was getting a little stale, so the introduction of this new, much longer one is a great refresh. Not only is running the course a great way to practice your movement, but you actually get rewards from it too. Completing the course within certain time brackets will award you different chests that have a chance to roll some solid rewards. I'm not even close to mastering the current course, but with a little bit of effort, everyone should be able to complete it in the top bracket for the best reward tier, which can be claimed up to three times a day. Something you really want to keep in mind for this course is passing through these blue emblems. The blue emblems subtract four seconds from your time, red emblems add four seconds, and white ones do nothing. Here's a simple route you can take to hit some key blue emblems. Using katana, start running when this emblem is about to turn or just turned red, then you can just follow this route until the last section. Once you reach this point, you should have more than 20 seconds to traverse the floating rocks however you feel comfortable. That's not all that's new in the 3D lobby. There's a whole lot of Halloween decor, but part of it actually relates to an event. Turning into one of these Halloween balls will allow you to knock into other players, each impact earning you a chance to get pumpkin candy. If we make our way to the event center, we can see a bunch of limited time events. The first one is Twilight Trickery, and that's where you'll be able to spend your pumpkin candy. Right now there's more than 11 days remaining in the event, and with 20 candy available per day, you should be able to collect everything you want. If you ever wanted your zipping to be a witch, now's your chance. Next, we have Strife of Sun and Moon, where you can pick from two different bonuses, and then gain access to event quests and rewards. Complete these quests, and you'll get some awesome epic and legendary items. The next event relates to Mythic Treasures, where you'll have a chance at some exclusive star collection outfits. After that, we have the Autumn Sale, where you can obtain a bunch of discount vouchers without having to do quests or anything like that. The last thing on the list is a limited time return of previous season treasures, so if you missed out on stuff from the past boxes, now's your chance to pick it up. Be sure to check out the new cosmetics as well, there's some Halloween and fall themed stuff you might not want to miss out on. That's about it for now though, I hope you enjoyed the Halloween events, and I'll see you next time.